11,000 people were without power because of downed trees and power lines across the region. Many areas are also dealing with major flooding. In fact, you can see par cars partially submerged here in Connecticut. The storm is expected to impact millions of people across several East Coast states. Here in the Miami Valley, Jesse, it's just really windy and taking a look at live Doppler 7 radar behind you, just a big old bow showing up. That, that's turn. exactly the case. We continue to see this precipitation waving through, and we're not dealing with snow out there right now, but very, very breezy, and showers continuing to wave into the area. Taking a look here at satellite and radar, you can see that we have these separate bows that continue to kind of wave through very quickly. So uh, we had a batch of showers move through Dayton. That's quickly moved through. Now we actually have the wind orienting itself to where we're creating showers off of Lake Michigan, and that's kind of where we see the next batch of scattered showers continuing to move through. And taking a closer look at what we're seeing here on Live Doppler 7 radar, we're seeing the majority of that precipitation move out, but as I mentioned, more of these scattered showers expected to kind of develop and move through. And we do have trick-or-treaters in Greenville right now, so hopefully they're remaining dry, uh, but the breeze is really howling out there. We see it coming out of the west somewhere between 20 and 30 miles per hour in many of these locations with wind gusts somewhere between the mid to upper 30, so very, very breezy out there, and we likely will see that continue to pick up over the next hour or so before things begin to uh, slightly calm down here throughout the overnight hours. Projected wind gusts as we go towards the next several hours, likely now and into uh, the 7 p.m. mark is where we're seeing the breeziest conditions. Wind gusts could approach 40 miles per hour and even surpass that mark, especially right about now is when we likely will see the breeziest conditions. But we're trending down as we go towards uh, about 9 and 10 p.m. We're looking at 30 mile per hour wind gusts, so things are not calming down by any means, but they're headed towards that direction, thankfully. Uh, you want to pay attention if you're driving a high-profile vehicle or just driving in general if you're moving around, you will definitely be pushed back and forth as the wind continues here. As I mentioned, we do have some trick-or-treaters in Greenville, so uh, they should be wrapping that up here within about the next 45 minutes. However, chilly conditions out there, temperatures around the mid to upper 40s, very breezy, and they might be dealing with showers out there as well. And that will kind of be the common trend as we go throughout the overnight hours. Temperatures uh, staying fairly steady by the time we get into the overnight hours and probably only dipping into the lower 40s. Futurecast is showing these scattered showers continuing. That precipitation we're picking up off of Lake Michigan kind of waving through. By morning, we could see maybe an isolated shower throughout the region here, but most of us remaining dry. And once we get into the afternoon hours, we actually have clearing skies expected, and that will continue even into Tuesday as well. So relatively clear once we get into the evening and into the overnight hours as well here. So rain chances are staying nice and low for Monday and Tuesday with the exception of an isolated shower there. We're really picking up on Wednesday and Thursday. We have a cold front expected to move through, so a near guarantee for rain by the time we get into the middle of the work week. Overnight tonight, 42 degrees, the low temperature, scattered showers, and it is going to be windy early, but things are kind of trending down as we go towards uh, sunrise, only about 10 to 15 miles per hour from the west once we uh, do get into the morning hours tomorrow. Isolated shower possible for your day planner tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy by noon, but we are starting to clear out with a high of about 52 degrees in the warmest part of the day. And as I mentioned, John, Wednesday and Thursday, it's looking like rain is becoming a likelihood. Kids and pets got out their costumes in Kettering this weekend. The event at the rec center that kicked off the Halloween holiday. Would a heavy dose of Tampa Bay be just what the doctor ordered for Cincinnati? And it's a rematch for two local high school teams from just a couple of days ago. Sports is up next. Stay right there.